Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're pitting two of the best mid-range laptops against each other, the Asus VivaBook S16 and the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5. Both have Intel's new core ultra processors and stunning displays, but which one is right for you? Watch till the end of the video and you'll know exactly which laptop is the winner. I've included links in the description for the latest prices and deals and please hit that like button. It helps me a lot. Let's dive in. In terms of design and build quality, the Asus VivaBook S16 and the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 516 G9 present two distinct approaches to the modern 16-inch laptop. The VivaBook S16 emphasizes extreme portability, weighing in at a mere 1.5 kilograms with a remarkably slim 15.9 millimeter profile. Its construction features a metal chassis that, despite its lightness, feels solid and is certified with Myel STD 810H durability giving users confidence that it can withstand the rigors of travel and daily use. The design is understated and professional, with thin bezels and a matte surface that effectively resists fingerprints. The lid's ability to open 180 degrees is a thoughtful touch for collaboration. The overall aesthetic is one of clean, minimalist sophistication. The Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 516 G9, while also sporting a professional and minimalist aesthetic, has a slightly more substantial build. It is heavier at 1.89 kilograms and a bit thicker than the VivoBook. Its chassis is also crafted from aluminum, giving it a premium feel. The design is functional, with a unique raised camera hump that assists in opening the lid, and its matte surfaces are similarly good at resisting smudges. The IdeaPad's sturdiness is generally good, but there is some mild rippling on the screen when pressure is applied to the lid. The hinges are strong and allow the lid to open up to 170 degrees, slightly less than the VivoBook. Both laptops aim for a professional look, but the VivoBook S16 stands out for its exceptional lightness and robust compact feel, while the IdeaPad Pro 5 feels a bit more traditional and heavy-duty. When it comes to ports and connectivity, both laptops offer a comprehensive selection, but with slightly different configurations that cater to various user needs. The Asus VivoBook S16 provides a generous array for an ultra-portable device including two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, an HDMI 2.1 output, a micro SD card reader, and a 3.5mm audio jack. A key detail to note is that one of the Thunderbolt ports is used for charging, leaving only one available for other high-speed accessories. For wireless connectivity, it includes Intel's X211 Wi-Fi 6E modem and Bluetooth 5.3, ensuring fast and stable connections. The Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 also comes equipped with a strong port selection that is well-suited for creators and power users. It features one Thunderbolt 4 port, which also supports power delivery and DisplayPort, a second USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port that can also be used for charging, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a full-size SD card reader, alongside a 3.5mm combo audio jack. A significant difference here is the presence of a full-size SD card reader on the Lenovo, which is often preferred by photographers and videographers over the micro SD reader found on the Asus. The wireless options are identical, with the IdeaPad Pro 5 also featuring Intel's AX211 Wi-Fi 6E module and Bluetooth 5.3. Both laptops offer excellent wired and wireless connectivity, but the IdeaPad Pro 5's inclusion of a full-size SD card reader and a second USB-C port that can handle charging without occupying the single Thunderbolt 4 port gives it a slight edge in flexibility for creative professionals. When evaluating the display, camera, keyboard, touchpad, and battery life, both showcase different strengths tailored to their target audiences. The VivaBook S16's most compelling feature is its simply stunning 16-inch Samsung OLED display. It boasts a sharp 3.2K resolution, a 16x10 aspect ratio, and a fast 120Hz refresh rate. The color reproduction is exceptional, with coverage reaching 165.3% of the sRGB gamut, 117.1% of DCI-P3, and 113.9% of Adobe RGB. Its color accuracy is also impressive, with a Delta E as low as 1.07 in calibrated profiles. This display is vibrant and factory calibrated, making it a fantastic tool for content creators. The brightness peaks at 603 nits in HDR, offering a dazzling visual experience. 
In contrast, the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 516G9's reviewed model features a 16-inch 2560x1600 IPS panel, also with a 120Hz refresh rate. While the IPS panel is bright at 368 nits and offers good contrast, its color gamut is limited to 100% sRGB, lacking the wider DCI-P3 and Adobe RGB coverage of the VivoBook. This means that while the IdeaPad's display is crisp and fluid for everyday tasks, its colors can appear slightly less vibrant compared to the deep blacks and rich tones of an OLED panel. Lenovo does offer an optional OLED model, but at a lower resolution. In terms of the camera and security features, both laptops offer a similar 1080p webcam, but with slight variations in implementation. The VivaBook S16's 1080p IR webcam comes with a manual privacy shutter and supports Windows Hello facial recognition. The image quality is excellent in good lighting, with acceptable performance in dim environments. The camera is also enhanced by Windows Studio effects, which include auto-framing, eye contact correction, and background blur, improving the video call experience. The Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 also features a 1080p webcam, which is placed within a raised camera hump, a design choice that makes opening the lid easier. This camera also includes an IR sensor for Windows Hello facial recognition and a privacy shutter. The image quality is respectable for video calls in well-lit conditions, and it similarly supports AI studio effects like eye tracking and head tracking. Neither laptop includes a fingerprint reader, relying on facial recognition for biometric security. For the keyboard and touchpad, both devices provide a comfortable and practical user experience with a full-size layout and a numpad. The VivoBook S16's chiclet-style keyboard offers a precise and tactile feel with 1.5mm of key travel. It also features a dedicated Copilot AI key and three-stage RGB backlighting. The ErgoSense touchpad is notably large, feels like glass, and is known for its smooth and accurate tracking, complemented by a quiet and well-damped click mechanism. The Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 also has a full-size keyboard with a numpad, making it ideal for productivity and data entry. Its key travel is decent and the keystrokes are precise. However, its keycaps are slightly flexible and the deck feels less rigid than what is found on Lenovo's premium ThinkPad line. The IdeaPad's touchpad is also large and responsive, but the physical clicks are producing a loud and hollow sound, which can feel less premium. Finally, regarding battery life, the two laptops are quite competitive, with the IdeaPad Pro 5 holding a slight advantage in certain scenarios. The VivoBook S16 with its 75-watt-hour battery provides a respectable runtime for a high-resolution OLED laptop. It achieves around 9 hours and 21 minutes in a video playback test and about 8 hours of mixed usage. Heavy use, such as editing with high brightness, brings this down to around 5 to 6 hours. This is a very respectable endurance for a Windows Ultrabook with its specifications. The Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5 is equipped with a larger 84-watt-hour battery, and thanks to the efficiency of the Meteor Lake processor, it delivers outstanding run times. It boasts an impressive 12 hours and 36 minutes of WLAN browse at 150 nits and a staggering 15 hours and 52 minutes in a video playback test at the same brightness. While its heavy load battery life is shorter at around 1 hour and 8 minutes, its endurance for everyday tasks is clearly superior to the VivoBook S16. In comparing the performance, editing power, and gaming capabilities of the Asus VivoBook S16 and the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5, a picture emerges of two laptops built on a similar foundation but with nuanced differences in their execution and potential. Both devices are powered by Intel's latest Core Ultra 7 155H processor, utilizing the new Meteor Lake architecture. This means both laptops benefit from the same hybrid core design, which includes six performance cores, eight efficient cores, and two low-power efficient cores. As a result, their benchmark scores for single-core and multi-core tasks are quite comparable, with both demonstrating excellent performance for daily use, multitasking, and productivity applications like Office. The new architecture's efficiency gains are a shared advantage, making both laptops snappy and responsive in their class. The processor in the IdeaPad Pro 5 is run at a sustained 50 watt, which is a solid power level for a productivity machine, and its multi-core performance is even stated to be slightly better than a competing Ryzen 7 8845HS. The VivaBook S16's performance is similarly effortlessly handling a range of workloads. 
When it comes to editing power and content creation, both laptops leverage their capable processors and integrated graphics to offer a solid experience for casual creators. The VivaBook S16 highlights its system's ability to handle 1080p to light 4K video editing in tools like Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. However, it explicitly cautions against expecting fast render and export times compared to laptops with dedicated GPUs. The VivaBook's standout feature for editing is its gorgeous 3.2K OLED display, which is factory calibrated and offers extensive color gamut coverage, making it an excellent choice for photo editing where color accuracy is critical. On the other hand, the IdeaPad Pro 5 is also deemed suitable for light to moderate video and photo editing. Its fast CPU and RAM, along with a sharp display, make it a strong contender. The IdeaPad's primary drawback for color-critical work is that the reviewed IPS panel only covers 100% sRGB, lacking the wider color spaces of the VivaBook's OLED screen. While the IdeaPad Pro 5 also offers an OLED option, it is at a lower resolution. The key distinction here is that the VivaBook S16 provides an exceptional display for creative work out of the box, whereas the IdeaPad Pro 5 offers a good but less color-accurate display on its standard configuration. For gaming, both laptops rely on the integrated Intel Arc graphics, a significant step up from previous generation Intel Iris Xe solutions. The Intel Arc iGPU performs impressively well in synthetic benchmarks, with the IdeaPad Pro 5's review noting that it beats the AMD Radeon 780M. Both laptops are capable of handling lighter games like CSGO, Valorant, and Fortnite at 1080p with medium settings, achieving playable frame rates. The review of the IdeaPad Pro 5 provides specific examples, suggesting that games like Cyberpunk 2077 can be played at low settings for about 30 to 35 FPS and GTA 5 at high settings for over 60 FPS, with even better performance when using Intel's XESS upscaling technology. The VivoBook S16's review echoes this sentiment, stating that light games are playable at 1080p with medium settings, while AAA games are only viable at low settings and reduced resolution. The limitation of an integrated GPU is a shared reality for both laptops, as neither can match the performance of a discrete GPU. This is clearly illustrated by the VivaBook's 3DS Max modeling test, where it scores a mere 19 FPS compared to a VivaBook Pro 15 with an RTX 4050, which scores 75 FPS. While both laptops are capable of some light gaming, they are not designed to be primary gaming machines. So, which should you buy in 2025? The Asus VivoBook S16 or the Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5? If you want ultimate portability, a jaw-dropping OLED display, and solid everyday performance, the VivoBook S16 is hard to beat. But if you value longer battery life, a full-size SD card slot, and a slightly more robust build for productivity, the IdeaPad Pro 5 is the better fit. That said, the clear winner is the Asus VivoBook S16. Its combination of premium display, sleek design, and great all-around value makes it the best choice for most users this year.